uh, sometimes have to say to him, I want heart talk versus head talk. Mm. So he knows heart talk, mm. shut up, just nod a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of, you know, look sad for me. Right, right. That's, <laughs> right. Yeah. That's, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And head talk, okay, she wants me to problem solve. And that helps, just that level of clarity is really that. great. something entirely different. It is time for Just Us Girls. I am yes. surrounded <laughs> by the girls of A Better Us. We're here, a, lovely friends have uh, opened up their home to us and we are here to just enjoy some girl talk yeah, in right. the Just Us Girl <laughs> time. And um, we're so glad you're part of this as well. Now joining us on these segments, we've got Dr. Mary. Dr. Mary is a clinical psychologist yes. with over 25 years. She's an author and she's a speaker too. Over 25 years of experience in dealing, counseling families, individuals, couples on some very personal, serious issues. And so we're glad you're Thank with you. us. Mm -hmm. I mean, hello. Come hang out with some girlfriends. Yeah. You For know, sure. right? And you we know, talk. <laughs> exactly. So today we're going to be talking about emotional needs. Okay. Now, I think the guys, if they were here, they'd say, what? Emotional? No, we girls aren't emotional. No. Okay, when Ron and I were first married, okay, we've been married one year exactly, and somebody asked Ron, we've been married lots of years now, but somebody asked him then, okay, so what, what surprised you the most, you know, in your first year of marriage? Right. And I'll never forget his answer. He said, how emotional women are. <laughs> I have no idea where he got that actually because you know but I guess I guess we do have emotional needs don't we? We're just it's different and it's not always predictable you know if guys could be just given a road map if you say this this is what it means this is what these are the mm -hmm. actions you want me to take give me a road map mm -hmm. I think I might be okay right. but that's not the way the Lord has wired us. No. Nope. Uh, we are emotional and I don't mean emotional in a let it all hang out kind of a way, but we do feel things deeply. We have a deep mm -hmm. level of sensitivity mm -hmm. and uh, we make decisions. Uh, we feel led by the Lord through our emotions. And in all of our relationships, aside from the one with, uh, with our father, God, uh, the relationship with our spouse is so key. Mm -hmm. And I have to admit, I don't know about you, I got married really young mm -hmm. and- I did too. You know, having started to study psychology, I figured I'd have them all fixed because surely <laughs> that's what I do for all of them. I can't fix my husband, I can't fix anyone. And what I didn't realize that was in the process of trying to express to him what I thought were my emotional needs, mm -hmm. he was perceiving that as a sign of failure and mm -hmm. criticism. So the more I tried to help him see, the more he would withdraw because mm -hmm. I'm telling him that he's not good enough. And that's not all my intent. Right. But sometimes in our desire to communicate that, we don't realize that we're actually um, shutting them down. So I don't know if you know, you've been all married at different stages, mm -hmm. some of you younger than others. Like, it, Has anyone had that same experience when you first got married versus where you are now? Mm. I know when we first got married, I... I'm very emotional, mm -hmm. and even when I tell a story, if I'm trying to relate something to my husband, I just, and, and this happened, and he's like, okay, you're getting a little too emotional for me now. <laughs> Calm down, just bring it back, right? You're starting but, to scare me a little bit, there, right? <laughs> right? But I, I, I feel everything, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And sometimes I find that I'm so emotional, and he's just a wall sometimes, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's like you have to have that balance right. between each other in order to be able to relate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So um, he's learned that I'm very emotional because mm -hmm. we've been married over 25 years now. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that, you know, he just likes to sit back, take it in, mm -hmm. and then he breaks it down, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And then that way, you know, he can calm me down in the process, mm -hmm. and then we're able to talk. Mm -hmm. Because men, I find, aren't as emotional as women are, period. Mm -hmm. They're not, just not. Not. not in general. I think, though, if I can differentiate as we continue talking about emotions, it's one thing to be emotionally expressive or emotional, and I would separate that from emotional needs. Because 100% mm -hmm. of us, every single one of us, including men, have emotional needs. Absolutely. But it's not always Absolutely. expressed in the same way. That's right. So maybe, I don't know that you can comment about, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. from an emotional need standpoint, how has that communication gone with your well, husband? Yeah, mm -hmm. you were saying earlier, um, Dr. Mary, that um, it sets them up for failure. And I think last season we were even talking about our emotional needs mm -hmm. and how there are certain emotional needs that we have that can only be met by God. Mm -hmm. And we put them on this human, this well-meaning human 
um, who's only one man, and they can't read our mind and know our deepest, darkest mm -hmm. thoughts the way that mm -hmm. God can. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to sit for an hour and listen to me gab on the way a girlfriend can. Mm -hmm. And we, so we try to put that all on them, but really we need to spread that out between mm -hmm. our girlfriends like this right now, yeah. which we're probably all going to be emotionally filled up after yeah. this in a right. way, you know, yeah. but true. to put that all on one man, we are setting them up to fail, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I can, mm -hmm. I know for sure that's happened in our relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Eric and I have only been married for four years, but I've already seen um, how environment changes my emotional needs or mm -hmm. the different people in my life, the surroundings, the influences in my needs in my life and um, it's really interesting when we first got together my needs were just different and I handled it differently mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and I was in a different environment so I'd take it out in a different way like spreading it out with girlfriends and talking about it and then as we got older and we matured and we start to grow together I find that my more my needs are that I need him to just kind of sit with me more and just kind of be there and be a mm -hmm. presence there he doesn't always have to fix it but he I just need him there right. to kind of help me walk with me and just cheer me on even if he's not saying anything maybe it's just who he is and I find that now I'm learning that I need to be more clear with him instead of putting these expectations on him that he can't meet or or just won't or that God can only meet so mm -hmm. and you, you make a very clear good point about he would want to fix it and I think that that's the, the challenge between men and women. When we have emotional needs, we just want to be understood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want them to be able to give us empathy that I, I understand, I can feel your pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas men are like, oh, she's feeling something, gotta shut it down, we better fix it. <laughs> and then in the trying to fix it, it feels like, we're not being heard. It feels mm -hmm. like you don't really understand our heart. I'm trying to do heart talk here yeah. and you're busy like fixing something that's not even related to what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And that's a disconnect for mm -hmm. a lot of couples. It's a very mm -hmm. common one. There's a lot of humor yeah. around that, but yeah. same time it can be really, really hurtful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and especially if you come from a family background where your father may have been a little bit less available emotionally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you can tend to idealize this is what true love ought to be like. Right. I know my dad was busy, it wasn't mm -hmm. as available, but this is true love. True love is my husband will always be there for me. Mm -hmm. He'll get me, like we're, like we're connected, he'll get me. Right. And then very early on, I don't know if you experienced that, Kara, within a very short period of time, it's like, oh, this is not at all what I thought marriage was gonna be like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And we put so much weight in the whole emotional connection mm -hmm. as women. And if our husband doesn't know how to relate to us emotionally, doesn't know mm -hmm. how to rise up to where we are, right. uh, the level of emotion that we have, then we start to attach other mm -hmm. needs to that and say, well, then he's not uh, really gonna meet my needs in other ways too, because mm -hmm. the emotional connection isn't there and I don't have that security need met, or I, I don't have that communication need met because my emotionally, I don't feel connected to him. and so. Mm -hmm. Really, we need to differentiate yes. that and Very separate wise. those mm -hmm. and say, okay, well, emotionally, we might not be on the same level emotionally, but that doesn't mean that he's any less of a wonderful man mm -hmm. that God has brought into my life that we can, we can work through these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a really great example. So I'm a psychologist and I'm married to an engineer. So you can already <laughs> imagine. And he's a phenomenal problem solver. And we've been married almost 30 years now. And uh, what I've learned is uh, I'll sometimes have to say to him, I want heart talk versus head talk. Mm. So he knows heart talk, mm. shut up, just nod a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of, you know, look sad for me. Right, right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And head talk, okay, she wants me to problem solve. Mm. And that helps just that level of clarity is really that. great. I do too. Yeah. But when I go yeah. heart talk, if I don't give him a cue, he tells me it actually hurts him internally. His, his brain starts to want to explode, like <laughs> warning <laughs> signs. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, I don't know where to go with this. And so yeah. he feels very alarmed as mm. a result. So by doing that simple thing, that's really important. But the other thing too is I recognize the way he's wired, engineer, Asian guy, all of those things. He's just not wired to be as emotive mm -hmm. as my girlfriends are. Mm -hmm. right. So I can then accept from him how he adores me, but it's not going to be because he can sit and listen deeply. In mm -hmm. fact, he tells me it hurts his brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but he can be just present yeah. mm -hmm. and he can just kind of go and do a little back rub on me mm -hmm. and yeah. we're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I love that heart talk and head talk mm -hmm. because my husband as a coach, mm. he's used to solving yes. 
problems, problems. Yeah. right? Yeah. He's used to, you know, telling these guys on the field, this is what you're supposed to do. And so when I approach him and want to have a conversation, sometimes I can't even finish my sentence <laughs> and he's already fixing the problem. Yes. Right. And I'm like, can I just finish yes. first? Just listen. Yes. All I want you to do is just be present. That's right. You don't even have to say one word. Like you were saying earlier, just be present. And just look at look Let me too. speak yeah. and just feel my emotion. Mm. Just feel where you know I what? am right Sometimes now. Sometimes we just need to know they get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't, it. We don't need anything else. else. Yeah. We just need that, that yeah. feedback where we, we say, okay, you get me. Yeah, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. it. We're that's good. Pressure off. <laughs> I think often society or when we flick on the television, a movie, they set our men up to fail too because yeah. we're mm -hmm. watching a romance film, mm -hmm. a Hallmark yes. Channel, whatever it is, and yeah. they have lines prepared for them. They know how to mm -hmm. act and we yeah. just have men who love us so deeply but they just don't, can't, they don't have a figure out the words, yeah, yeah, they don't yeah, have a yeah, script. Yeah, yeah. and That's so right. just to take the pressure off and maybe you don't have to say anything at all. Maybe you just are here with mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and that can just be a world of difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's so true. And it doesn't matter how long you've been married. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like you guys have been married four years and yeah. I, Danielle, you guys have been married 17, 17 mm -hmm. and you're 26, 26 and yeah. you're almost, almost 30, almost 30 yeah. and we're wow. 34. Oh, it that. doesn't matter how long you've been married. It seems like this is this whole emotional connection is something that just comes up regularly yeah. and mm -hmm. often. Mm -hmm. But what I love, Dr. Mary, that you do is you give us ways to think about it, to mm -hmm. process it. Okay, uh, you connect with them either heart or head, mm -hmm. or you connect with girlfriends mm -hmm. to have those other emotional needs met, mm -hmm. or the bottom line, foundational, yeah. is you connect with God first. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Because when I am he feeling can only, them yeah. my most vulnerable, there's really no one who can hold the enormity of it for me. And I just have to sit down before him and just ball, yeah. mm -hmm. journal, journal let, yeah. let him have it. Mm, and that. once I'm calmer, then comes the uh, conversations with my, my husband or with friends. Mm. Because I'm not like going yeah. over them, yeah. right? God is always a safe place yeah. Yeah. to share your emotions, always a safe place to connect. Sure. And so we are so glad you joined us for this little Just Us Girls time here on A Better Us. Stay tuned because there's more to come after.